Yo, Taurus energy. Let's get Taurian. We about to get Taurian, you heard? I may cuss, but I don't curse. With that being said, let's get into this reading. So I'm going to do a three-card draw today. We're going to do a three-card draw today. And um, we're going to be thinking about an immediate situation that's going on in your life. You'll know it better than I do, you know? You'll know it when you hear it, pretty much. And um, we're going to look at the immediate situation at hand, how or what your attitude is towards it. And then we're going to look at a key factor to consider regarding the situation. You know? All right, that's what's up. Hope y'all doing well out there. You know what I mean? I ain't going to hold you too long. I ain't going to drag this out. So, I'm going to cut the deck. Whoa. And get to it. Situation at hand. Two of swords in reverse. Hmm. Okay. What does this mean exactly? Okay, I'm feeling just like I said, right? This is an immediate situation that's at hand. So this is uh, something that's been weighing heavy on your mind. And I think you're looking for more information because you can only see maybe a piece, a quarter of the information that's needed. It's like something that you got to connect the dots about. Um, it may be due to a relationship. And it doesn't have to be a romantic one. But whatever this relationship is, it deals with trying to find out the truth about someone and but I, I i get it's more than one person i get like it's more it's more of a it might even be a okay it's not a group thing it's more like a community thing i think it's more along the lines of does this person know that that person does that and it's like because you're made aware of it so how do you know but they don't know and it's pretty evident because if you know you know they know if that makes sense it feels like it makes perfect sense to me though and you're just trying to figure this out because you're trying to make a decision you know what i'm saying granted so it's not like you're really being nosy because you've already been exposed to what it is that you've seen you just want to know how many of the collective actually know about this same thing or why is a blind eye turned to it or why do they ignore it why do the same thing but you you get what i'm saying like so this is something that is unnerving though you understand what i'm saying because if it was all positive and sunshine then it, you wouldn't be bothered by this shit you wouldn't be thinking about it so much but this is something that appears to be like a mystery amongst others but it's pretty evident to you what's going on so it's like you know the thing, but you don't know the you don't really know the knowingness of the behavior of other people that are around it, whether they're directly involved or not. So that's the situation that's at hand. Let's see how you what's your attitude towards this situation. You want your high priestess shit. Alright, so hold on. So I what I'm getting here is we got back-to-back -back tools. What I'm getting here is you're using intuition to figure this out because what I'm getting is if you directly approach, let's say, people that you feel are involved or know what it is that you know, and they may even know more than you know, but they're like, like I said, they're behaving like they don't see anything. Um, approaching them about it may may out you it may put you in a spotlight so to speak you know what i'm saying it might alarm people that you wouldn't even know should or could be alarmed so i'm getting that this thing goes deeper than the surface level and i think you initially realized that because you felt it it's not something that you actually seen with two eyes to believe you was feeling your way through this from the giddy up with the moon there in the third eye this is some subconscious shit that you was like 
because the two of the two the two of swords is a deep card because you're blindfolded trying to make a decision and it's like you only you don't have the full information needed and you're trying to figure something out about someone and you got to feel your way through that process so for the high priestess to be drawn now with your attitude being in the high priestess um aura it's like you're going to continue to go off of that feeling because dealing with people in the 3D about this is not recommended. Um, you're going to actually find out what you're looking for and even more, more than what you expected to find, I'm feeling as well, because you're going to get spiritual downloads to show you what's actually going on. So continue. You're looking at this like you're going to continue to trust in yourself. You're going to continue to trust in your intuition spiritual insight um your emotions so if the hair stand up on your arms you know something if you know what i mean if your locks start tingling you know something you understand what i'm saying and you're gonna keep moving on that if you get downloads you're gonna keep moving on that because sometimes that's the better way to unearth and and do things is use mystery use the mystery school in order to do it because sometimes in life people think you can't find out about shit that they got going on because you're not directly in the loop because you don't talk to them about it you understand what i'm saying i know those of y'all watching who have figured some shit out about people and you were right without having any direct contact with them you know exactly what i'm talking about so let's look at the key factor to consider regarding this for the taurus energy what's this 10 10 of wands upright yeah so i think from the beginning you felt like this was like i said this is not something that's upright or at least perceived as good productive promising optimistic this is not one of those things this is something that looks bad it looks like it could bring bad it looks like it's just it looks like it doesn't belong it actually is an outlier when you set eyes on it so that's what had you even more like am i fucking bugging like am i the only person that sees this shit and everybody around here acts like they're goody two fucking shoes but it's like they can't look left or right when they walk past this shit. You understand? So I think the key with the key factor to consider what is being said is you got to let shit collapse. Just keep 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 in watch like the high priestess suggests and let shit collapse. You're going to see some shit get exposed. You're going to see somebody get backstabbed. You're going to see some type of betrayal go down. And you might it might not look like that on the surface, but that's what's going to bring about the type of drama to unearth and bring this shit into the light without you having to talk to anybody, without you having to ring the alarm on the shit. You're going to find out through some shit like that. Um, and the ties are going to be cut. I don't know. Like I said, this might be something that's just in the community. But if it's closer to that with just a relationship, the ties are going to be severed because they're going to get outed based upon some type of internal judgment system that you possess on your own. Not because you're nosy or gossipy, but it's more of a community vibe. You understand what I'm saying? It's not like if it was up to you, it's like you could give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? They don't live with you. They ain't in your house. They ain't in your apartment. But if we like in a in a in a community and this is going on over there and that shit looks wrong to you you get what i'm saying you just like man i wonder how the rest of the community feels or what they doing behind the scenes you know what i'm saying so when this thing gets unearthed you're going to feel better about your self-worth your self-intuition your guidance principles you're going to feel very much on point about it it's going to bring you much clarity and it's going to teach you to continue being in the spirit and trust yourself in that type of way i'm out